What's going on everybody? This is James White with Freakin' Reviews, bringing you as seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now today I'm comparing three indoor TV antennas to see if there's a difference between the cheap ones and the more expensive ones. That's today's review. All right guys, what we've got here is three contestants. Number one, I paid a whopping three bucks for this one at the 99 cent store and more. This is 99 cents. I hate when they do that. Now after that is the latest edition of the SCN TV Clear TV. This one's been around for a while, but Clear TV has kind of evolved over the years. This is the newest version that I could find. So we'll see how that works. I paid 18 bucks for that one. And finally I picked a, po a popular one on Amazon. This is a amplified TV antenna. This was about $27, so really not much more than the Clear TV. Let's see if there's a big difference between the cheap antennas and the expensive ones. First up, crack them open, see how they look. All right, well this feels very thin, but it looks cool though. And it has a sort of like a holographic almost look to it. For three bucks though, will it work? It's got a suction cup mount. This is an optional stick pad to help you with unfinished surfaces. So, seems like it might be a good deal for three bucks. Let's open the Clear TV. Oh, this packaging is killing me here. Oh, it's just tearing it all out. All right, well this is much more compact. Looks like you can, like the old school rabbit ears, but much smaller. We'll see how it works. And finally, this behemoth. I found this one by going on Amazon and just looking for the ones that were the most popular. This one had a lot of good ratings and it wasn't too expensive. Oh wow, look at the size of this thing. Jeez, a lot of, a lot of wires in here. Some pretty good instructions and look at the size of this. Look at this compared to the tweet cheap one. It looks like it's a moon around the orbit of the larger one. I'll be really curious what kind of a difference this makes. All right, so you may or may not remember back in 2013 when the original Clear T was advertising, it was a pretty slick marketing campaign because a lot of people watched that commercial were under the impression they're gonna get all these new channels without paying for cable or satellite. Well, those channels already exist because they're broadcast by TV antennas like those back there. There was nothing really special about it. It wasn't some sort of a Fire Stick or Roku. It was just a television antenna, just very slickly marketed. But there are people that want to get rid of their cable and satellite and watch some TV, and television antennas do fill that void. The question is, how close are you to the broadcast antennas, and how much of a difference will the antenna make? I've got some right in my backyard. Those will probably be pretty clear. There's some across town. They may not. So let's see what a difference the cheap ones and the more expensive ones actually make. Indoor antennas are best used next to a window, so I've repositioned this television next to a window so all of them can get maximum opportunity to get the best signal they can. So I'm gonna put the first cheap antenna up and see how it goes. Now this is my $3 antenna with, I like the design though. Instructions I don't like so much. They're not very good. What do you expect for three bucks? So you're supposed to attach this antenna to this base and ideally attach it to a window, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, I think it's gonna stay. Mmm. First thing I have to do with any antenna is scan for channels. Hopefully it holds up on... It didn't hold up. <sighs> I actually used some pitcher mounts to hold this thing in place. And I've got it here pointing at the Las Vegas Valley. So every TV antenna in town is that direction. All right, and now I'll try scan for channels. I expect it to be a pretty high number here in Las Vegas. So we'll see what it's at. It's already 11%, so it's not taking that long. They say 20 minutes? Nah. That's a lot of channels. Are any of them any good? We'll have to find that out pretty soon too. It looks like I found like 76 channels. Well, the quality is so-so on that one. Oh, it's Tack Visor and it's loud. I reviewed this one. Sway Tack Visor, I love it. The volume really varies a lot on these. Some of them is blasting and some I can barely hear it. And the picture quality on this one is very good. This is the local uh, NBC station. I kind of watch my soaps and they're not looking pretty good. <laughs> all right, I'm not going to go through all 76 channels on all three of these, but it looks like, you know, I'm getting kind of a mixed bag of some look pretty good, some don't, some are loud, some are quiet. Next up though, it's Clear TV. All right, next up is Clear TV. This is the new version, not the old version. Uh, they give you a little sticky mount for this, but they say you're supposed to mount it vertically. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the table right behind the TV, which is right next to the window. So it's basically at a window mount anyways. So I'm gonna put it right here, plug it in up there and see how it goes. Let's see if this actually comes off when I'm done with this. Okay, so we are right next to a window and I guess we do these just pull up. I'll just 
Oh, little cute rabbit ears, just like the old days. All right, now let the Clear TV scan and see how it goes. All right, so the Clear TV only picked up 66 channels when the cheap $3 antenna picked up 76 channels. It's a little bit surprising. And I think the picture quality of this two point, channel 2.1 is not as good as it was with the, the cheap antenna. See, look, it's, it's stopping. It didn't do that before. Wow, was that loud? And I reviewed this too. This is actually a pretty good product. I reviewed this too. <laughs> I reviewed this too. This is your great channels. I need to leave these on all the time. This is like the greatest hits of some of the stuff I reviewed already. This was one of my best of 2018, actually. See, this, this picture is also good once again. NBC is once again good. It's a great picture, great sound too. All right, well, so far, just on first glance, the Clear TV doesn't look as good as the $3 one, but I'm gonna do a better test tonight where we check all the channels and see how they look. Next up, I've got the expensive amplified antenna, and we're gonna see how that does next. And finally, it's time for this bad boy. Look at the size of this thing. It's about the size of a TV itself almost. It's got an 18 foot cable. It's got a sticky strip in the back for mounting. It's got an amplifier which goes in a USB port. If you don't have a USB port in your TV, they even give you an included power cube. Let's get the amplifier here. This goes into the TV. All right, hopefully this sticks better than the $3 one did. All right, well, it stayed, it stayed in place. Once again, I'm gonna scan these channels, see how many it picks up. All right, something obviously not right. It only picked up 15 channels, but the instructions state that if you have the amplifier and you're too near broadcast towers, it actually could pick up less channels. So I'm gonna take the amplifier out and try it again without the amplifier and see if there's a difference. Because 15 versus 76, I'm definitely not right. All right, it looks like it's already picking up more channels. I'm at 11 at 5%. So the amplifier was obviously actually causing problems, which the instructions said could happen. All right, so 74 channels. I'm gonna take a quick look at these and then uh, we'll do our big test later tonight. Uh, once again, this channel just doesn't come in very well, no matter what. Once again, NBC looking good. All right, so right now, on my first impression, I'm not seeing a big difference between the more expensive antenna and the three R antenna, and the Clear TV seem to be kind of in the rear. So it's gonna be interesting to do a little bit better comparison with multiple people all giving our opinions on this. But right now, it looks like the three R antenna is hanging in there with the rest of them. But let's see what happens on our more extensive test later. Now, because of picture quality is kind of subjective thing, some people might say it's a good picture, some people may disagree. I wanted to have more opinions than just my own, so I invited my twins to help me out. We kind of had a TV watching night. We went through all three antennas, all the channels, and rated each one of them. And here's how that went. Now we're gonna have a family TV night with some popcorn. It's time to get started. All right, so I'm here with my kids. We're gonna watch all the channels from all three antennas. We're gonna rank them and come up with a decision on which one is the best antenna based on the quality of the, the channels that we see. So you guys ready? Got our popcorn here. So we're gonna start with channel 2.1 and work our way up and see how they all compare. We're not gonna share our scores with each other. No, no looking over here, right? Okay. This is the $3 antenna and I re-scan it before we started this. So it's a fresh scan on this and 2.2 is not showing up at all. So okay. I don't know that guy. One of your friends looks like him a bit. I forget his name though. I didn't recognize Way back him. in the day. His hair, oh my god. That's like 70s or 80s right there. Yeah, we got westerns here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that music. <laughs> what is that like 90s, like freaking? If 90s. It looks like bad vacation footage. What is this? <laughs> it looks like home videos. Mm -mm -mm. The Crispy Kernel, right? Yeah, yeah. I, do. Oh, yeah. I did the Crispy yeah, Kernel. Pot pies? Brandon has reviews on his channel. We've done a bunch of KFCs, right? Yep. A couple of them. Well, this is Forensic Files, man. Don't ever watch this show when you're about to go to oh, sleep. Oh, no. This dude. is not a good show when it's, you're trying to fall asleep. It's fun to watch, but not at night. One time they had an episode that kept saying James White. I know, there was a guy, there was a killer <laughs> named James White in the show. I recorded it because it freaked me out hearing him say my name over and over again. <laughs> Remember, this is the $3 antenna. I think it's doing pretty well so far. Yeah. That's, that's the Duke right there. It's the Duke. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I got nothing. Wow. I never seen something <laughs> jump from a 10 to a 1 so quickly. Wow, that looks like when the bitrate gets really messed up that's on rough. Twitch. That's rough. Alright, so 21.2 next. The low ones were good. Now, not so, not looking so good. Oh, that, oh. How, you can't watch that. Looks like Voldemort a bit. Ooh, that looks have like. Have proactive and you'll have lines on your face like you'll that. You'll have like roast beef face. <laughs> roast beef face, I love it. <laughs> it like That's a new thing though. <laughs> it looked like roast beef. 21.5. Very loud. It's the loudest one. So what? 
TV for you, Doc. It's actually distorting this so loud. We found a lot of channels that don't, don't have anything on them. I love this show. <laughs> we can go watch it later. <laughs> Very quiet. Oh boy. You gotta love those shopping are, channels. Those are cute though. Oh great. <laughs> I'm so not good. gonna buy them though. No. Another. More shopping. <laughs> Now we have to do this two more times. No. <laughs> okay, two more fine. times. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst. We're going to take a break. I'm going to switch the antennas, rescan it. We're going to do it again. All right, taking a look at the final results for the $3 antenna. These are what I call the raw stats, and that's the rating we gave to all the channels, regardless of whether they are good or not. Uh, we all agreed there were 62 channels, so I gave all the channels a 7.6 rating on average. Noah gave it a 5.7. She was less impressed with some of the channels than I was. Brandon's average was 7.2. That gives the overall average raw rating as a 6.8. Now, what I did next was I filtered out all the channels that were pretty much unusable, even though they had a signal. All of them were so bad they weren't watchable. So that basically anything with a five or above rating to see what our rating of those channels were and how many channels we actually thought were usable. So I call this my adjusted rating for the $3 antenna. I found that it'd be 58 channels that were usable with an average of an eight star rating. Noah was less impressed. She had 41 usable channels and a 7.0 star rating, branded kind of in the middle, 7.6 and 55 channels. That averages out to a 7.5 star rating with 51 usable channels. Next up, we tried the As Seen On TV Clear TV, and here's what happened. All right, time for round two. We got the Clear TV. This is the new version, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> I don't trust him for some reason. Oh, I reviewed this one. This is the second time I've seen it on this one. I reviewed this one. Why would you melt candy? I did that same test. You did it. I did that test and it actually passed the test. That same guy does all his voices for the ASEAN TV commercial, then. Just like the pose. <laughs> that wasn't exactly it, was it? That's, That's more like the kid products. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Magic pad. Magic pad. <laughs> oh, no. All right, this is clear TV. Clear TV. <laughs> Yeah, Shane. I don't want anymore. Is that Frank Sinatra? Um, nice and quiet and cozy. Yeah, Shane. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, oh break up Ooh. a little bit. Oh. oh no. Here he is again. Oh, creepy <laughs> forensic file guy. <laughs> would you rather have a channel that doesn't come in well or just have it not come in at all? I mean, which, oh. which one would you prefer? Look at that. That looks freaky. <laughs> it's like some. Oh. I'd rather have no channel than have to look at that. Oh no. Oh, there's a big discrepancy in the first one and this one now. Take a nose drive. Oh no, and not again. Ah. Clear TV is starting to fade. Come on, Clear TV. Oh, mama. Oh no, Clear TV. It's not so clear right now. <laughs> Negligence, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's negligent, it's signal. You know, it's weird, some of the channels are better and some of them are worse. It's like, it's not, right. it's not consistent. 20, what happened to all the 21s are yeah, gone and the 23s oh clear tv is not impressing me what do you guys think not very clear how is this the improved version this is the new improved version so imagine the original wow. should we review this cat litter thing she might be scared it's like 500 bucks isn't it <laughs> but look at that cat they look good for about one second now it froze again all right guys so that was the clear TV. We'll have to add up the uh, the scores and see how they do, but we got one more antenna to go. We're gonna take a break and come back for the final one. All right. All right, here we go. All right, so take a look at the clear TV raw ratings. Again, this is the average rating for all the channels, whether they were really watchable or not, just if we had a signal. As you can see, these aren't as impressive as the $3 antenna, as far as the raw ratings goes. 5.9 for me, 4.8 for Noah, 5.7 for Brandon. That averages out to 5.5 and 57 total channels. Now when you get rid of all the garbage out of there, the numbers are much more impressive. I had a 7.7 .7 and 40 usable channels. Noah had a 7.3, but only 28 usable channels in her opinion. Brandon had the highest rate of Clear TV with a 7.9 and 37 usable channels. So as you can see, there's a much less channels that were really watchable, but the average rating was 7.6 with 35 usable channels on average. And finally, it was the highly rated Amazon You Must Have antenna, and here's how that went. Mm -hmm. All right, for the final test, this is the You Must Have antenna, which costs, I think, 27 bucks. Let's get started. <laughs> Some good acting, man. <laughs> oh, man. I love the acting. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, a, that? what a moment to turn on. What was that, man? 
Ooh, ooh, that was just reactive, man. Ooh. That's Ron Howard, the director of like uh, The Grinch, right there. Wait, really? That little kid. No. -uh. That little kid directed The Grinch. Blue. <coughs> it's like let me see. Thirteen point. <laughs> Second John Wayne movie we've seen tonight, I think. <laughs> Probably. Oh, oh, we got great. Star Trek. Yes. I just want. I want to watch this now. Can I watch this then? Yeah. No, All right. Let's go. <laughs> See, Claire TV didn't pick up any of these Twenty One channels. That's true. <laughs> this was my favorite show when I was a kid. I that love Jack Tripper. That chick's hair, though. No. Nope, <laughs> We're like you. getting into all these shows now. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh. Every one of these seems to struggle with a certain range. I've noticed. Yeah. Well. E -er -e -er -e -er. Their voice is getting blended with his blender. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. What kind of movie is, is he this? blading? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of Blade Runner, but not like this. <laughs> this is the '90s Blade Runner. Oh my god! He's got those shorts. Freaking great! What the heck is that? <laughs> it's like the desert version of Tron. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh, I love it. Do you guys it. know these movies? Comment because I, I I'm love curious. This. What kind of video is this? <laughs> Walking barefoot in the street. What is that? This is so perfect. Anthony Sullivan is a great hey. way to finish. That's my boy right there. Anthony Sullivan. There we go. It's hard to tell because some, you know, each one of them seemed to have ranges they were good and bad at. Mm -hmm. Some of them seemed like they picked up channels the others didn't. So what I'm going to do is compile all these numbers, see how many channels they actually picked up. As opposed to just the ones that scan that may have nothing on there. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for me to do all the tallying <laughs> and see which one we pick is the best antenna of these three. Alrighty. That's next. Take a look at the you must have antenna. Just the raw data. These are the ones that are just either they worked or not. My average rating was 7.3. Noah was 5.8. Brandon 6.7. That averaged out 6.6 .6 stars. And the highest number of channels at 66. Now when you adjust these and remove all the garbage channels that really weren't usable, uh, the number is a little bit different. Mine was a 7.9 with 60 channels. Noah's went up to 7.2 and 45 usable channels. Brandon 7.6 with 54 channels. That averaged out a 7.6 with 53 channels. So after we were done, I had to crunch all these numbers. We all had our, our ratings here. I had to figure out what to do with all that. I looks like all three antennas with the raw ratings. Again, these are just channels that were there or not and I didn't filter out any of the kind of garbage channels. The $3 antenna had a 6.8 star rating with 62 channels, Clear TV 5.5 with 57 channels, and the You Must Have 6.6 .6 with 66 channels. So the You Must Have had the most channels, but the $3 antenna actually had the highest rating. But once again, that includes channels that really weren't very usable. So let's take out all the garbage channels and see how the adjusted totals compare. The $3 antenna had a 7.5 with 51 channels, Clear TV 7.6 with 35 channels, and the You Must Have also 7.6 with 53 channels. So really, when you adjust them, all three of them had about the same rating, but look at the number of channels. The Clear TV had 18 less channels than the You Must Have that were really in the watchable category. So even though it had a high rating, it had much less channels that really met that criteria. So what this tells me is that the $3 antenna and the You Must Have, which are both window mounted, outperformed the Clear TV, which was standing vertically right next to a window. At the final graphic here, this is the total of everything, the raw and the adjusted next to each other. The $3 antenna didn't really change a lot. The rating went up and the channels went down because you're filtering out a lot of the lesser channels. Clear TV really, the star rating went up, but the channels went way down to 35. The you Must Have, uh, it kept the most number of channels and it had the same star rating as the Clear TV, but much more channels. Keep in mind that results for a TV antenna is gonna differ for everyone because there's so many different factors that play into it, like your distance from the television broadcast towers, the placement within your home, any obstacles between you and the tower, any obstacles within your home. So this is just an example of how it worked for me, but I think my example might translate to a lot of people as far as my final results goes. Now, because I live in a big city, within 35 miles of the nearest broadcast towers, I really, the amplifier really wasn't something I could use. So if you're living in a remote area, you probably want to use an amplified antenna if you're going with an indoor antenna. But, but if you live in a remote area, you're probably going to go with a roof mounted antenna to get all the distant TV broadcast antennas. But if you're in a big city and you want an indoor TV antenna, it appears to me from my very unscientific test, that a cheap window mounted antenna will probably perform about as well as an expensive one. 
probably wouldn't go with a clear TV over a window mounted option. Have you used an indoor antenna like these or another one? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.